some days maybe you do get the kitchen sink shined up. Look at you! And that is today! Good morning. If I seem a little out of breath, that's because I still need to do my vest and mists. So my lungs aren't quite awake yet, but do you remember how yesterday I said, we're not aiming for perfection? Well, and I said, some days maybe you do get the kitchen sink shined up. Look at you! And that is today! So, I just wanted to share that with you, that most days it's not gonna be a shined kitchen sink. It's just gonna be good enough. But some days it is, and that's worth celebrating. You're perfection. I'm not perfection. We're not aiming for perfection. Good morning, guys. Oh, yeah, you should show them the yard. You guys want to see the yard that is fully planted with grass? All right, here we go. I finished late last night, so I did straw along kind of the valley of the yard. Uh, keep the grass seed in place and um, but the whole yard is planted I need to get out there and water it um, but grow little grass seeds grow okay just got finished watering the lawn which feels like such an overwhelming task until you just break it up into 15 minute segments where you'd get work done in between each of the moving of the sprinkler and it took me probably an hour and a half to do the whole lawn, but I got a lot done while I was doing the lawn, and it didn't feel quite as overwhelming as when I started. So, that is good. Do you have to do that twice a day? Well, in the spring I did it twice a day. I'm gonna see how wet the ground stays because it's not as hot as when I did it in the spring. Oh, really? And on the weather app this week it shows thunderbolts every day so we might get some showers this week which would help the watering anyways that's done i made a salad for lunch i just did some lettuce red pepper and mango and it's delicious mary's got a checklist today she's like on top of it and i think after lunch we might work on organizing the garage a little bit so that's what's going on. I am really not hungry today, so I just decided I'm gonna eat this leftover hash, what is it? I don't know. Uh, hash brown potatoes. Random fact about me. I dislike the word hash. I, it doesn't really bother me anymore, but I remember being like a young teen, and if mom was making hash, on the stove, I'd be like, ah, don't say that word. I don't know why that's, I don't know. I really didn't like that word. But I'm gonna eat these hash browns. And then maybe it'll like help my appetite be better so then I can eat like a meal. That would be good. It kind of worked. Now that I had something salty, I'm in the mood for something sweet, which is kind of hysterical because this is plain yogurt, so it's not at all sweet but I sprinkle some chocolate chips, frozen chocolate chips, into the yogurt, and that's my next course. I just came downstairs to find a little snuggle fest. Get in there. Yep. How you doing? I'm okay. I'm really glad that I got a lot of stuff done this morning before I stopped feeling good. We're gonna go grab some dinner, and... I'm sure that'll help. Yeah. Hopefully. Alright, animals. But, that means I have to get up. This morning I noticed that we had some fruit going bad in the fridge, and so I am not going to bottle my kombucha is not ready to bottle till tomorrow but I thought I'd go ahead and juice the fruit that was going bad so that it will be ready to go when I bottle so I have strawberry blueberry and I went ahead and did what's this one I think that was orange 
with the leftovers of the other two in there and the ginger that we have. So we'll be all set and I am going to pick up a pineapple while we're out getting dinner because I did fresh pineapple in this last batch of kombucha and some of my favorite flavors. Uh, the pineapple, I think the sugar in it is, it's a high sugar content, so that gives the yeast plenty to eat on and then make lots of carbonation. So it was super fizzy, actually the one kind of exploded all over the place, but it was so good. Uh, ginger pineapple, and then I did one that was pineapple cayenne and I didn't put ginger in that one. It was so good. Anyways, I am gonna do pineapple again and they're super cheap right now, like $1.79, so, oh yeah. We're back from eating our dinner. We ate in the car. It was a good little car date and I'm feeling a bit better. Peter is planting this ivy plant that he got a few days ago. Oh dear. And I think it's gonna look really nice. You can kind of see it up on the top left there. We're really excited about it like spilling out and like crawling up the wood and stuff. Many, many hours later. I was thinking about how tomorrow it's probably going to be rainy all day. It's humid tonight, as you can tell by this curl. We went for a walk. And, okay, I was thinking how it's going to be rainy tomorrow, so then I thought, obviously, I need to make chicken noodle soup tomorrow because it's going to be rainy. So then I, I got out my Instant Pot. Sorry, baby. Um, I got out my Instant Pot. I have a frozen kind of chicken carcass. It was a local farm. We did a drive-by pickup a couple of months ago. So I have this frozen chicken carcass that I bought. It's raw, it's frozen. And I was going to boil it to make the soup, like the broth for my soup tomorrow. So I get all like, chop up an onion, get some carrot ends, get some celery ends, get it all ready and then realize that the chicken carcass is too big for the Instant Pot while it's frozen. So I just put everything back in the fridge and tomorrow hopefully the chicken will be thawed enough to push down into the pot. So then I was thinking about soup. So then I thought I need to make miso soup. It's nine at night. So I'm making miso soup. I'm sitting on this little step stool in the middle of the kitchen and now Harry has decided he needs a little snuggle. Do I need a little snug? You need snugs? Of course. Toodles. So here's what I have. I'm not putting any tofu in it tonight. Just some seaweed, miso paste, and dashi soup base liquid. And it's just a cup of water, so it's just exactly how much soup I want to eat right now. Now that I'm saying this out loud, I'm realizing that that is not enough fat or calories to use as my Trikafta nighttime snack. So now I'm opening the fridge. <laughs> Are you liking this play-by-play? -play? Now I'm looking in the fridge. Maybe, oh yes, okay. I have a little bit of smoked salmon left and some cheddar cheese. And I will eat that with some crackers with my soup. And the cheese and the crackers will be the trikafta portion. Perfect! I'm feeling a lot better than I was earlier, as you can tell. Well guys, we got some rain this afternoon and it was a good amount of rain. I always get nervous after I plant grass. Well. This is my only, only my second time planting grass, but I've been nervous whenever I see rain on the forecast that it's gonna to be too much and wash the seeds away, but it was a perfect amount. Watered the lawn. So here's the update of 
Grass growing, 2020. Do you hear him purring? He said it's nighttime and... As always. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night, Hollywood.